Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Belky's Twist. Today I'm bringing you a really, really old recipe. I mean, super old, probably like seven, eight years old um, that I used to kind of make quickly. And it doesn't look like it's a quick recipe, but trust me, it really is because it's just about chopping, putting in the oven and one part on the stove and then merging them together. So it's basically a baked potato and sausage casserole with two steps. So before we started rolling here, I chopped up my potatoes and I went with fingerling potatoes because I love that they come in all these different little shapes and sizes. And I try to cut them up to fit about the same size. And that way when you're having different bites, some are just smaller, some are bigger, some are a little harder, some a little tender. So you get the drift. And then I also added some red peppers and I sliced them and then I cut them in half, but you can make them, you know, in little squares, however you want to put them in here. And then an onion that I chopped in big chunks. And they're gonna break up, of course, as we are cooking them and stirring them. And to season them, Super simple. I'm gonna start off with some olive oil. Next, I have some minced garlic and I went with the pre-minced garlic. It's easy, obviously, for a lazy day like I'm having today. I just kinda of wanna get it all done. This is some paprika. This is some garlic powder. And then just a hint, of salt and i'm going to be using sea salt here if my container wants to open for me <laughs> and i'm just gonna put it liberally so let's say i don't know half a teaspoon or so when you cook a lot you get to understand the measurements without measuring a lot of the time and then some black pepper i like to use my little machine and then here we go. It's all ready to go into the oven. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a stir. Very, very simple. I have my baking dish right there and I'm gonna just throw it all in there and put it in the oven for 15 minutes at 375 to start softening the vegetables so that they're ready when I get my sausage in. And the sausage has a lot of flavor in itself. I went with mild, uh, actually, sorry, sweet Italian sausage, but you can use mild, you can use hot sausage. Sausage has a lot of flavor, so you, when you put these together, it's amazing. So I think this is mixed enough. If you guys wanna check it out, it's, it's nice covered. Everything is perfectly living with each other there. So I am going to go ahead and put this in my baking dish. There you go. And I'm going to make sure that I spread it out nice and evenly. And I actually might end up having to get a bigger one because I'm realizing I'm going to have a lot of sausage. I'm putting in all of this sausage. So I might have to transfer it later, but for now I'm just going to leave it in here to cook for the first 15 minutes. Now we move on to the sausage, the potatoes and the onions and the peppers are in the oven. Here you go, I'm gonna give you a tip on how to do this. So I'm gonna take away the casing from the sausage. So I just put poke a hole there and then I just kind of run my knife all the way to the end here. And then I open it up and that's it. That's all it calls for. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna cut it in about five pieces. So here you go, maybe even six. It depends. And I'm gonna form it into a ball. I'm not gonna be doing it tightly, just nice and loosely. And if you notice, I got almost like a little meatball. It's like perfect, see? And then I'm just gonna set it aside and I'm gonna do it with every single one of these. So I'm gonna be busy while those 15 minutes are going. I'll be busy making little sausage meatballs. So we're back, I have my, it's kind of like a skillet type wok thing and I love it because it's nonstick. And I put a little bit of olive oil in it just because I wanna make sure that when I initially put my little sausage meatballs, they don't stick because you know they're kind of sticky. So I'm just gonna put a few of them at a time because I don't want to have to move them around if I throw a bunch of them together. And all we're gonna do is brown them a little bit. 
so that they're halfway cooked when I put them in with the potatoes, but that they're also holding into the flavor from the uh, sausage because when you sear it, it just traps all that flavor in. So I'm just gonna continue to add some meatballs as I go. Just little bits here and there. And then once I have them in and they're searing, they won't stick together and become more than one ball, like twin balls. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. And um, I'm making way more than I thought I was making. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to cook for just a couple people. It's kind of weird. So there's always leftovers at my house of every single thing I cook. And this looks amazing and it smells amazing. And there's nothing on these sausage meatballs other than its own seasoning. And these, like I said, are sweet Italian sausage. So it's just amazing. We love sausage here. I've been adding the little sausage balls like super sporadically there, if you notice. So as they're forming, I add more. And I add a little more because if I put them all in, like I said at the beginning, you just don't want to do that at the same time because they'll kind of just jumble up together. Uh, but now I'm pretty safe. I got them all in here. This is almost ready. I'm going to give it a little bit more color. It gets color really, really quickly. And in this pan, oh my God, forget about it. I'll probably put the link to this pan too so you guys can get it if you want it. I got it on Amazon and it is amazing. Like nothing sticks to this. It's it's crazy. It's, and I have another one too from Mealty that's uh, more of a skillet, like flat skillet. Ugh. I'll put the link for both for you guys. But here we go. We're almost ready. And like I said, I'm going to have to move my potatoes to a bigger one because clearly all of this is not going to fit in that little one that I picked. Okay, guys, I transferred my potatoes to a bigger <laughs> baking dish because, of course, I was in denial earlier. So now I'm going to take the beautiful, look, look at them. This is the sausage. It's probably almost cooked through, but I just wish you could smell it. Oh, and I'm going to take that, that oil that you see at the bottom. That's all going to go right in there because it's going to help give even more flavor to the potatoes and the onions and the peppers. And I'm just going to spread this all over, oh, all over this. And then, of course, I'm going to mix them around so I can bring some of the potatoes and, you know, the veggies on top as well. So that's it. And I made sure, just so that you guys um, are aware, I said it at the beginning, but I want to make sure I say it again, is you see the potatoes? Like, this is kind of what you want it to be. Don't make them big chunks because then they're not going to cook quickly enough and you don't want to have some hard uncooked potato while you're trying to bite into your um, into your meal that day. So here we go. Into the oven it will go. All done. Look at this beautiful dish. You can see how caramelized the onions are. The potatoes look beautiful. You see the little bits of red pepper and of course a lot of sausage. <laughs> What's really funny is that my one, my youngest son with autism, he loves sausage and I don't know because he cannot tell me because um, he can't speak, but I, I, I think he smelled it or something. So when this was in the oven, even though it's not even time to eat this yet, he just sat by in the kitchen waiting for me to finish it so he can have some. So I took a little video of him um, eating some of it. He doesn't eat the potatoes or the, you know, the onions or anything because he's all protein. I don't know why, uh, but he already had some. So smart kid, right? Now I'm going to have a little bit for myself. I love it. As I stir this around, all those juices have insane flavor. Look at that. Oh my God. Those onions are perfectly caramelized. <laughs> yes, I am a lucky girl. The family is very lucky to get to eat things like this. And it's very simple. And you can actually prepare a lot of it ahead of time and then just plop it in the oven, like the potatoes and everything, and then cook the sausage and then put it all in the oven at the same time the next day or whenever, or even right now, you can go ahead and, you know, Put, make a ton like I did and put some in, in the um, refrigerator and have it as leftovers. I'm going to have a little bit for myself right now. And um, 
try it out for you guys. Mm. Okay. I love sausage. Look how beautiful this is and beautifully caramelized. It's perfect. Mm. Okay, here we go. One bite. It's still hot. So I don't want to burn myself like I usually do, but. Mm. Perfect. Mm. So moist inside. Mm. Perfect. Now, I don't want to put too much in my mouth at the same at one time, but the potatoes. Perfect. The onion. Perfect. And then when you put them all together in one bite, you grab the potato, you grab the onion. Mm. And then you grab your sausage and you put all in your mouth at the same time. Forget about it. Mm. So good. I am so excited that I made this for you. Like I told you earlier, this is one of my oldest recipes and it's just tried and true. And you can't go wrong with this, especially if you like sausage and potatoes and, you know, very hearty filling food. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm.